Let's talk about why some people, after a cheat day, will lose weight and some will gain weight. Hey guys, welcome back to 5 nothing 100 nothingcom I am Fug It. That stands for the fittest underdog guru using intelligent tactics. Hey guys, if you ever been on a restrictive eating plan, whether it's counting calories, eliminating a macronutrient like fat or carbohydrates, and you decide that you're going to go and have a cheat day or a cheat meal, could even be called a refeed, or maybe it is an unplanned cheat meal because you just kind of lost a little bit of control, or the food before you was too tempting to resist. And you feel guilty, you know, you go, well, I shouldn't have done that, and it's going to throw me off, now I'm going to gain all this weight. And then surprisingly, you get on the scale and you lost weight. Now. Let's say that you were having a regular, pretty consistent rate of weight loss. And then, you know, you figure, okay, I just ate like 2,000 calories over, you know, my maintenance or loss number, you know, whether it's in points, calories, however you're measuring it. And you're like, oh, the damage is done. And you reluctantly get on the scale and you're down like two pounds. It's like, what gives? What's that about? Well, I'll tell you a few possible reasons. Now one, it could be, and this is the one that I don't think is the most likely, but sometimes when you've been in a calorie deficit for so long and you do what's called a refeed where you just add in a lot more calories at one time or in one day, all of a sudden, the theory is that your metabolism gets going again. It, it starts to, like when you eat a certain amount of calories, your metabolism is going at a certain rate at which you're burning calories in a day. All of a sudden, it slows down to try to meet your calorie intake. So that's why when you drop your calories, you lose a little bit of weight, and then you'll hit a plateau. It just stops. And some people then drop their calories a little bit more and then they drop a little bit more weight and it plateaus because your body is trying to look for balance it doesn't think it doesn't know if it's overweight underweight it just wants homeostasis it wants to stay the same okay because that's what it knows it knows that here I am at this weight and this is what I need to protect oversimplified way of putting it but that's how it works so now you have all these calories come in and your body is going oh wait the fast the famine is over right if you if you're thinking of your body in a primitive way and all of a sudden it starts to raise the metabolism back up because the calories are back in and everything's gonna be okay so your body starts burning at a faster rate and then you're losing weight right so a systematically placed refeed or cheat meal can help some people break weight loss plateaus Another idea is that let's say you're doing a high protein diet and all of a sudden you have this meal with a lot of simple carbohydrate, uh, things that your body and your system are not used to anymore. So all of a sudden it almost acts, you know, you almost get a, um, an effect, an, a diuretic type effect where your body starts to eliminate it. You know, your stomach might be upset after eating too much of or just having the wrong foods that doesn't agree with your digestive system and so you spend a little bit more time in the bathroom so now you had you know backed up stool from a high protein diet or whatever and all of a sudden you know there's a huge elimination so maybe the elimination the reason that you're less on the scale is because you just had backed up stool so now it's gone right could be that in the cheat meal you had there were certain nutrients that were lacking in your restrictive eating 
So now you've got those nutrients in your body, your body starts to function at a higher rate again, all systems go, and now all of a sudden you're dropping body fat. So there's a lot of factors there. If you are one that gains weight, that one's a lot more simple to explain, okay? So yes, it's a calories in, calories out game to explain weight loss or weight gain. And a lot of times when you go off of clean eating, you're eating foods that have a little more fat in it, has a lot more sugar or salt, and sodium retains water. So if you're like one day or a few hours or a day removed from eating something that was high sodium or even high calorie, Sometimes your body, instead of getting uh, having that disruption where you then go to the bathroom more and eliminate, you know, any stool that was there, any waste that wasn't eliminated, what happens is your body actually holds on to it because you've been in this restrictive mode, and it's different person to person, but it's true that you're in this deficit, deficit, and all of a sudden you eat all this extra food, and your body is maybe dehydrated. It now will hold more you'll hold more body water so, so let's say you have a five or six pound gain the next day after you say went 3,000 calories over your daily intake that you're normally used to taking it's like wait a minute I only took in another 3,000 calories but I I'm showing five six pounds on the scale yeah you're right it's not fat you did not gain that much weight because it takes 3,500 calories to uh, equal a pound fat so it doesn't explain why you're five pounds overweight that was not fat gain you guys it wasn't muscle gain either it was water retention so and possibly um, something that hasn't been eliminated yet so you know you could be one or the other or sometimes it just depends you could be both you know there's times where I could tell you recently I haven't had like uh, pizza like, you know, I'm talking about like good, you know, takeout pizza. And I had this sausage pizza with my girlfriend and I had a checkup at my doctor. And so all of a sudden get on the scale and they're like, oh, good job, you lost four pounds. I'm like, this is like a day removed after that pizza. And I thought for sure I was gonna be up because it was a higher sodium pizza because of the sausage but I actually lost weight. Now, that doesn't mean that I can have sausage pizza all the time and you know stay lean. That was just one instance where the day after cheat meal, I actually lost weight, but you know, that's kind of a nice surprise when it happens, but don't get your hopes up, you know. Um, it's not that you can get away with it now, all of a, all of a sudden you're this fat burning machine, especially if you have a slower metabolism or you tend to have a body type it's more endomorph it tends to store more fat you know just uh, call it a, a free pass as far as the scales concerned and get back on your plan if that plans working for you so just thought I touch base you guys talk a little bit about you know sometimes you know we all get confused like it's um, you know some secret mystery as to why we gain or lose weight after going off our eating plan but that, in a nutshell, is a good overview for you to help you to kind of figure out and decipher what the heck's going on in my body. All right, guys, stick to the plan. I'll talk to you soon. Take care of yourself. Like, share, subscribe.